Okay, what I want to show you is how to use system.io to host your courses. This is a free funnel building and marketing platform. No credit card required. They do have an upgrade if you get to a certain point where you max out on their free plan. But for a lot of people when they're first getting started, this free plan is going to cover them for a significant amount of time before they have to upgrade. So if you don't already have a free account, go on system.io, create that account. When you sign up, it is going to lead you to a page that asks you to put in your credit card information to upgrade. All you have to do is just close that page. Don't put your credit card information in there and then just go to the email that they sent to verify your free account. Once you have your free account, I want you to go to the funnels tab up here and this might be empty for you. Okay, so a funnel is how you're going to sell and market your course. You're going to lead all your traffic to your funnel. But we also are going to host our product here, our course on here. And so our course needs to be connected to a funnel. Now, this is not a funnel building course, so I'm not going to show you exactly how to build a funnel. The one thing I will tell you is that you just need a basic three step funnel where you have a sales page, an order form and a thank you page. And the thank you page is going to be what leads them to the course on the platform. OK, so what you're going to do is go to the top where it says products, go down to the option that says courses, click on that. And this page is going to be empty if you've never put a course on system.io before. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to click this blue button that says add a new course. And we're going to put in a course title. So whatever it is you're calling your course. And then you can put your instructor name. Make sure the correct language is chosen. Add your description for what your course teaches. And then your course domain, you can set up a custom domain on system.io. So feel free to do that. And if you want to use the one that they give you, that is perfectly fine. You can keep the subdomain and just add a URL path to it. And then you can choose the theme here for your course. I think the default is fine. And then I definitely recommend customizing your course so that you upload your photo, your logo for your business and your course cover. And it even gives you the recommended ratio. So it's 16 by nine for your course cover. And then it's going to ask you to connect your sales page. And this is going to be connected to the funnel that you built for your course. So we're going to choose that. And then we're going to choose the step where they're going to purchase this. And that's going to be your order form. So then once we've done that, we're going to scroll up and hit save. So now our course is created and we just need to start adding the content. So we're going to click on our course and the list is empty. There are no modules here yet. So we're going to add our very first module. Now, again, you're going to want to go back to your list or your outline that you did on the whiteboard and figure out how many modules you're going to have and what lessons are going to be in those modules and what those lessons are even going to be called. So you want to make sure you do that before you set up your course here, but we're going to hit add a module. We're going to hit save and then you can see that we have a drop down here and there are no lessons in here. Now system.io calls them lectures, but they are the same. So a lesson and a lecture, it's all the same. So you can either go in and start adding in all of your lessons with each module, or you can just add multiple modules first. So let's just say we have five modules in our course. And then one more. So we have five modules. And if I drop down all of those, you can see that it's asking me to put our lessons in there. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to add my lessons. So I'm going to do add lecture. And this is going to be where you put the name of your lesson. Leave it on zero delay if you're not dripping that content in. And then this is going to be the format of how your lesson shows up to people. So we can preview this and I can show you this is going to be the title and you've got your lesson here and then you can add more information and everything here. So that template is probably fine. So we'll hit save. So we've got lesson one. We're going to add another lesson. Lesson two, we're going to add another lesson. Lesson three. 
And then let's say we only have three lessons in that module, so we're going to go on to module two, add our lessons. And again, refer back to your list or your whiteboard so that everything is named the way that you want your customers to see it. Okay, so you're going to go through all of these modules and fill out and put in every title of your lesson. And after you've done that, you've got to go into each of these lessons. So let's click on lesson one here. And now you're going to have to edit this page to fit this lesson specifically. Now you can delete all of this information and just have a video. That's perfectly fine. So feel free to do that. But this may be a good place to add additional information that maybe wasn't in the video, but you want to give people some extra bullet points or some different checklists and things like that to follow. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to upload your video here. So you're gonna click on your system.io video that defaults here. Click on this little gear icon and you have the option to do a few things, direct link, custom embed, and upload file. Now, if your course videos are uploaded on YouTube, you can add direct links in here. If you have your videos on YouTube or Vimeo, you can do custom embeds, but you can also just directly upload your files to system.io. So if you choose the upload option and under it, you're gonna see this cloud with an arrow. If you click that, it's going to let you upload from your computer. And then you can choose whether you want the autoplay to be on and if you want controls on or off, which gives people the ability to pause and restart the video. So once you do that, you're going to hit save. And this is going to be a little bit of a tedious process. So hit exit and go back to this page. But what you're gonna have to do is you're going to go through each of these lessons and upload your video, put all your additional content in there until you're done. And then once you're done, we're gonna go over to our funnel to connect this course to our funnel. So go back to the funnels tab, click on the funnel that relates to your course. We're gonna to go to the order form and we need to set up our offer. Okay, so this is going to be the resource that the customer has access to after they purchase. And this is the course. This is how they're going to get access to the course. So we're going to hit this plus button, select a resource. We're going to choose courses, and then we're going to choose the course that we just created. Now this is going to ask you if you want to give them full access, partial or drip content. So depending on how you're giving them access, make sure you choose that correct one. And then I'm going to hit save. And now we need to set up our price plan. Now, as a disclaimer, you will need to set up your Stripe, your PayPal, and any other payment processors that you're using inside of system.io. You need to set those up before you come in here and add your price plans. Now, this video is not going to show you that. So you need to find resources that are going to help show you how to do that. So hit your price plan. We're going to choose our type, one-time payment, subscription, or payment plan. Now, if you don't already have a price plan that's saved, we're going to just create a new one. So this is going to be the name on the order form. So this is going to help your customers understand what it is they're buying. So I would put your course here, your name. And then the price plan that's displayed on your dashboard, I don't think there's any reason it needs to be different. And then your statement descriptor is what is going to show up on people's credit card and debit card statements whenever they purchase this. So what I like to do is put your business name and then maybe like a shortened version of the course name. That way when someone buys, they know exactly where that payment is coming from. That way they don't accidentally think that their card has been a victim of fraud. So then your price plan type, again, one-time payment, subscription, if you're doing a monthly plan or a payment plan. So let's go one-time payment and we're going to choose the amount. So this is where you figure out what it is you actually wanna price your product at, and then we're going to put that in here, and we're going to hit save. So now you've got your price in here. We're gonna to go to our order form page so that I can show you where this shows up. So go to order form, view funnel step, and here you can see this is my order page. Again, it has not been edited. You're gonna to wanna to make sure your order form page lines up with your sales page and everything about your product. But as you can see here, this is the course, it's linked in here. So someone has the option to go ahead and click to buy that. 
And then once they buy that, it's going to actually lead them to the thank you page. And because we linked our course to our funnel, they're going to get an email from system.io after they purchase that's going to let them set up a login so that they can log in and watch the course content on the system.io platform.